Got a phone call yesterday. VFW commander wanted to meet me at noon today. My little town, little VFW, deep in the heart of South Carolina. So I go to this meeting and I'm told that because of a Facebook post, I was being banned from the VFW. And the post, which I'll put here, explains what really happens when you volunteer to go in the military. You're not doing something honorable. It's not honorable to volunteer to obey any order. It's not honorable to volunteer to go overseas any country anywhere in the world and kill people. What was the Vietnam War about? Were you fighting for freedom then? 50,000 plus Americans, million Vietnamese, conservative estimate. What were we doing in Korea? Were we fighting for freedom there? What about Bosnia, Serbia? What about Iraq, Afghanistan, now Syria, and Yemen? What about the secret operations in Costa Rica and, and Guatemala and Panama? And what about what's going on in Africa? Are these honorable things for us to do? Or is it just following orders? Yeah, I was kicked out of the VFW today for expressing the truth. They don't want to hear the truth. The VFW only survives with veterans of foreign wars. You would think that the VFW ultimate goal would be to have no members at all. All the members would finally die off and there wouldn't be all these wars. And so there would be no reason for it to exist. But instead, they cling to this dogma. They re refuse that it is still honorable to serve the beast, even though the beast does evil things. It's not, it's not the troops that are evil, it's the beast that orders them to do the evil thing. It's almost like if, if uh, your employer gave you a gun and told you to go shoot the guy. You go shoot the guy and you have no guilt at all because your employer told you to do it. You knew it was wrong, but you excused it away because your employer said so. What does the world come to? Hey, Fred. We don't know what's going on anymore. People, 
people think honor and glory and, and sacrifice means sacrificing to the state. When all around they whine and they cry about what the state is doing. Too much taxes, too many wars, too much welfare, Social Security broke, blah, 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 blah. It's endless and endless. It when it comes right down to it, they support it. Blindly support it. And excuse it away as if God himself came down and said, you need to go kill some brown people on the other side of the planet. I love those guys. I love veterans. Look at all the people that were killed. It makes me angry. It makes me angry that these people still follow that delusion. If they would wake up, we could stop it. It's too bad but when people point out the truth. They reject it. They can't face the fact that they too were duped. We were all duped. We're all still being duped. I'll miss them. I'll miss those guys and all. But so be it. Sometimes speaking truth in a world of lies becomes a revolutionary act. And you're going to be demonized. I knew it when I posted it. I even thought about it. I thought about, well, what if somebody sees this? Why am I about This self-censorship, this herd mentality, this denial of the truth that our government has become a criminal organization and it is not honorable at all to serve a criminal organization. When you pledge allegiance, when you sign on the line to go into the military service now, it's like joining the mafia. It's an extortion racket of hired mercenaries. I hate to tell you that. I really do. But that's what it is. And you know it. You already know it in your but you're not going to say it because we served. We served. We served. It can't all be for vain, but it was. I wish veterans would come to their senses, wake up, and start to speak out instead of sitting around in the VFNW. No, but they're not. They're going to stay in their little box with their tax exemption and their non-profit status. They're not going to speak out. They're not going to speak out against this war, that war. No, war is good for the health of the VFW. It's sad, sad to see. Just a few thoughts. Jeff Maddox, until next time, put your comments below.